Hi everyone, Katie Petit here of katiepetitdesigns.com and today I want to show you how easy it is to customize your own print and cut so that you can make whatever you want, whatever size you want. So I'm going to start by making a new project. So I'm going to click up here. I'm in the um, Cricut Design app, by the way. So I'm going to click here and say New Project. And then I'm going to Upload. So I'm uploading just some PNGs that I've set aside to make this card. And I'm going to browse my hard drive. And let's see. No, I can only select one item at a time. So I'm going to load each of these items into my layout. And I'm going to say apply and continue. I'm going to choose the flat graphic and continue. Go ahead and say upload. And I'm going to bring it over here. Now it is coming in much bigger than I want it to. Hmm. Oh, you know what I think happens is my graphics are 300 dpi and I'm pretty sure Cricut works at 140. So I'm going to want about half of the size. So if this is 9.37, I actually want this to be then a little over four and a half. And we're going to just scroll here to four and a half, like right about there. Okay. And then I'm going to upload another item. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm selecting number two of the card. And this card is actually going to be available in my shop. So I will link below and you can download all these pieces to build the card yourself. So again, we have 9.6. We're going to scroll down to about four and a half because in the card design, oops, there, one up top. In the card design, these two things are layered. Okay, so let's just arrange our workspace there. And I still have some more items that I wanna upload. Bring in the butterflies now as part of this. And again, I'm going to need to do the same thing by scaling these. Um, to be have whoops I didn't look and see what size they were so they were 2.26 we're gonna go to like 1.1 there we go and you can see just kind of positioning them that 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 looks good we'll go back and we'll upload another butterfly now on these graphics for the print and cut I have removed the antenna because they're just so fine that it could chew up your paper. It's better to draw them on, or if you are into adding dimension, maybe you want to add some wire or something else. So let's see, we are at 1.7, so we are going to go to, let's see, 0.8. Let's try that. Um, my math isn't the best and it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to bring that one over there. So a few more elements to complete this card design. And in the download in my shop, you will um, get an option for a full sheet print and cut. So if you're not into rescaling or customizing, the size of your card graphics, then you can just use that. All right, I'm gonna, oops, what happened? There he is. Let's take this, move it over here, because I am just setting up my whole um, area that I'm going to print. And I think I still have at least one more graphic to add for this card design. 
Um, I think it looks like the only thing I have left is to add the celebrate, which is the uh, title for the card design. And again, flat graphic, upload, and it's 6.1, so we're going to go to just over 3, and I'm going to bring that down here. Okay, so you can see I have all these elements, so I'm going to click and drag on all of them, and I'm going to say attach, and attach is going to make it all one graphic. Okay, so I'm all set, I've got my graphic, I've got no warning indicators or anything, so it looks like I am ready to print. I'm going to check my printer, uh, right, my printer is ready to go, so I'm going to say make, and I'm not going to save this, and it's all set. It is going to be looking for my printer, it's showing that I'm going to be using my 12 by 12 mat, and I'm going to say continue, and it is going to send to the printer. And I do add the bleed, so it's going to add kind of like a fuzziness around the botanical, but that's fine because you're not even going to notice it once it cuts. So let's go ahead and print. This little bit in here about the pre-made PNG that I have in the card kit in my shop. Because Design Space brings everything in at 144 DPI, but you really want your images to be 300 DPI, you have to scale them down. So when you import this full sheet, you're going to have the um, exclamation point, like a warning that it's too big, but you don't want it this big and you don't want it auto scaled either. The original size was roughly 5 by 5.6 and that's what you want to bring it back to. So watch the numbers down at the bottom um, and we're going to get it down to 5.6 and that way it's going to all fit nicely on your 4x6 card. So unfortunately, you know, this is how Design Space works. When I tried it using 144 DPI files, it just didn't give as good a quality. So I think it's better to use the 300 DPI files and then just scale it down yourself when you import it. And then you will have all the pieces to make your 4x6 card. I hope that helps. All right, so I'm all cut, and now um, I'm going to peel it back and pick it all off the board, and then I'll be able to start making my card. All right, so I'm over at my craft station now, and I've got all of these pieces cut out, and just look how beautifully delicate the Cricut cut really did a nice job on these botanicals. So let's make a card with these. And my um, go-to technique at this point is to use oxide to add some ink to my background. So I'm gonna smear my oxide onto an acrylic block that I use for stamping. And I'm just gonna spritz it with water, not too much, just enough. And then I'm gonna take my card and smear it. And what this is doing is giving me like a textured background to work on. So it kind of gives some ink splatters and lovely background there. And you can either use your heat gun to dry it or just wait and let it dry natural. 
All right, now that our background is all dry, I'm gonna kind of arrange this card the way I will be gluing it down. And I kind of wanna layer these in here like that, right? Doesn't that look nice? And then we've got two butterflies. We've got a small butterfly and a large butterfly. The large one, let it kind of fall off the edge and I can trim it. And then the celebrate will go across the bottom, just like that. So I think that will make a really nice card. So, and then the very best will go kind of across the bottom, like so. Not like that, but you get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna slide these all off. It looks like the first thing I need to glue down is going to be the large yellow botanical. So I'm using um, the My Sweet Petunia glue press right here. I find it to be um, really easy to use, especially I have arthritis and it makes gluing easier. You don't have to really squeeze a bottle or any of that kind of stuff. Just kind of get some of the stems with some glue. And that should do it. Set it. Ah, not like that. I'm going to set it like that. How's that? Just brush off any of the extra glue. This process, luckily, is very forgiving. I think that's why I enjoy doing it, is because it is forgiving. All right, now we're gonna take this other botanical stem and again, glue the backside, mostly of the petals, but we will also need some on the stem. All right, now this one, I wanna kind of tuck in, let's see. Grab the pick here and kind of lift this one just a little bit. It's not glued down there too tight. And that way kind of weave it in with the other. There we go. Nice. Okay, and now let's glue on the butterflies. First we'll go with the big butterfly. And the smaller butterfly off to the other side. And this is going to make a really nice birthday card for one of my friends. Okay, now let's add the Celebrate at the bottom. Now there's a lot of other things you could add to this. If you want to add more bling to it, you could add some little poxy dots, you could outline. There's a lot of other little details. Maybe you wanna add some texture paste, whatever suits your fancy to make it your own. That is what you should do. All right, do I wanna cover those stems? No, I'm gonna just put it there. So celebrate the very best, and there we have it. And with the one hanging over the edge, all you need to do is take your scissors, with my scissors, and we are gonna just cut right along the edge. And then it is all set and ready to go. Now you could ink up the edges, Maybe you wanna, maybe you have a sewing machine. Like, I love sewing. I think you could sew a border around this. Make sure it, of course, fits your envelope first. Maybe you need to trim a little bit, get it in your envelope, and then sew it up, add your details. 
write your personalized note on the back side, and you're ready to go. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please ask them below. I always try to come back and answer all the questions. And remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you'll be told the next time I have a video to share. Thanks again. Have a great day.